In this video, we are going to talk about how to use similar figures um, to solve problems involving volume. So we've done um, similar problems involving scale factor and area. So if you've got similar shapes, <clears throat> um, the scale factor, you just compare any two corresponding sides, simplify the ratio, and that's your scale factor. So just side to compare two sides. And then the ratio of the perimeters is the same. The ratio of the area areas is the scale factor squared, so a squared to b squared. Remember, areas are measured in square units, centimeters squared, inches squared, that kind of thing. That helps me remember. So then the ratio of the volumes is going to be the scale factor cubed. Okay, volume is measured in cubic units. So the ratio of the, uh, sorry, so the scale factor cubed is going to get you um, for the ratio of the volumes. So let's take a look at filling this table in. Okay, so remember scale factor is AB, same as ratios of perimeters. Areas is going to be squared. Volumes is going to be cubed. Okay, so this would be the exact same as the scale factor, so 2 to 5. Area ratios would be 2 squared to 5 squared. So 4 to 25. And then ratio of the volumes would be 2 cubed to 5 cubed. So 2 cubed is 8. 5 cubed is 125. So in this next row, they gave us the area ratio. Okay, so they gave us the A squared, B squared. So this is A squared. This is B squared. So to get to AB, we would square root these. So square root of 25 is 5. Square root of 36 is 6. Perimeter ratio would be the same as that. Volume ratio would be those cubed. So 5 cubed to 6 cubed. So 125 to 216. Next one. They gave us the ratio of the volumes. So this is your A cubed. This is your B cubed. So cube root them to get back to AB. Okay. So what times itself three times gets you one? Well, that's just one. What times itself three times gets you 27? Three. Three times three is nine times three is 27. So your A, is, your a and B are one and three. One and three again for the perimeter. 1 squared to 3 squared for the area, so 1 to 9. Next one, um, has it just not simplified for your AB ratio? So both of these divide by 8. So if I divide 24 by 8, I get 3. If I divide 64 by 8, I get 8. So that's the simplified ratio, which would be your scale factor. Square them, so 3 squared is 9. 8 squared is 64, 3 cubed is 27, 8 cubed is 512. Next um, one, so they give you the area, and this is again not simplified because both of those divide by 50. 200 divided by 50 is 4, 50 divided by 50 is 1. So here's your a squared and your b squared. So square root them to get to AB. So the square root of 4 is 2. The square root of 1 is 1. 2 to 1 for the perimeter ratio as well, because that's an AB. And then cube them for your volume. So 2 cubed is 8. 1 cubed is 1. Then let's solve a couple problems using this idea. So determine the scale factor, surf, and then ratio of the areas, and then surface area of the smaller. Okay, so scale factor is going to compare any two sides and then simplify that ratio. So we see the 3 and the 7 given to us. So 3 to 7 would be our scale factor. So then area ratios would be those squared. So we'd have 3 squared to 7 squared, which is 9 to 49. So if we're looking for the surface area, Okay, we'd be using the area of the, the ratios um, of the areas. So if we're doing area of the small, 
to area of the big, that's going to simplify to your ratio, your area ratios, okay, to your 9 to 49. Okay, so the area of the small, we don't know. The area, surface area of the big one, we know is 196, okay? So now you can just cross multiply and divide. So then you get the area of your smaller shape is equal to 196 times 9 divided by 49. And you get 36. And then this was surface area, so it's going to be centimeters squared. Okay, so since we were dealing with area here, we used the area ratio. Um, for this one, we are looking at um, two cones are similar. The, the smaller cone has a volume of, okay, so this one has a volume of 125 meters cubed. Um, and then also has a surface area of 200 feet squared, uh, which doesn't make sense. So this should be meters still. So meters squared. And then a larger cone has a volume of 512 meters cubed. And we don't know the surface area here. So we'll end up looking for that. So what did they give us in both shapes. Okay, so they gave us the volume in both shapes. So this is going, so volume volume um, ratio is A cubed to B cubed. That's what they're giving us. Okay, so they told us the volume ratio is 125 to 512. Okay, um, and those don't have any common factors. So that is our volume ratio. So now you can go ahead and find your scale factor by cube rooting these. Okay, so doing a cube root to figure out what number times itself three times gives you 25. So that's going to be 5. And what number times itself three times gives you 512. And that is going to be 8. So this is your scale factor, your A to B. And then your area ratio is going to be a squared to b squared. So we're, we'll square these. So 5 squared is 25. 8 squared is 64. So now depending on what it's asking us to find, we would use that ratio. In this case, it's asking us to find surface area. So we're going to be doing surface area of the small over surface area of the big is going to simplify down to the area ratio, 25 to 64. Okay, area with area. The surface area that they gave us is of the smaller shape. So that one was 200. We're looking for this bigger one. So that's our variable. So we have 200 over X would, will simplify down to 25 over 64. So then we can cross multiply. So 64 times 200 is 12,800 equals 25 times X. So then we'll divide by 25, and you get 512 meters squared for that larger um, surface area. All right, last one. So we've got two spheres that are similar. The scale factor from A to B is 6 to 7. So I'm going to put a 6 here and a 7 here. And I'm going to write it into this first blank. The volume and surface area of the larger sphere, okay, so this larger sphere, the volume is 371.61 inches cubed. And the volume, or sorry, and the surface area is 249.55 inches squared. Determine the volume and surface area of the smaller one. So we're looking for the volume and the surface area here. Okay, so we have the scale factor. In order to find the area, the surface area, we're going to need the ratio of the areas. In order to find the volumes, we'll need the surface or the ratio of the volumes. So area ratio, remember, is A squared to B squared. So we'll square these. So 36 to 49 is what we'll be using when we're looking for areas. 
when we're looking for the volume, we'll be using A cubed and B cubed. So A cubed, so 6 cubed is 216. And then 7 cubed is 343. So when we're looking for volume, we'll be using these ratios. Okay, so let's do um, surface area first. Okay, so surface area of the smaller versus surface area of the bigger is going to equal down to 36 to 49. Smaller on top, bigger on bottom. Then we can plug in the one that we know, and we know the bigger surface area. Okay, so we know this bigger surface area here is 249.55. So then we can cross multiply and divide. So 249.55 times 36 divided by 49. And we get the surface area of the smaller sphere is 183.34 inches squared. Then we'll go ahead and find the volume of the smaller one. Okay, so volume of, and I guess I could have put A here, volume of sphere A, volume of sphere B, instead of small and S and B for small and big, um, equals, now we're going to be using the volume ratio. Okay, so 216, 343. So the 216 came from sphere A cubed, and the bottom one, 343, came from B being cubed. Then the one that we know is the volume of B, okay? So the volume of B is 371.61, and then we can cross multiply and divide to solve for that volume. So 371.61 times 216 divided by 343, and we get 234.02 inches cubed.